In Business Central, you may want to reconcile your inventory and uh, I'll take you through it now. So first and foremost, let's look at the chart of accounts and I can see here that I have some items in inventory. There's not a lot in this training company, but the principle is solid. You've got your breakdown of all of your inventory GL codes. Now, depending on how you run your inventory setup will depend on the steps that are required, but we're going to go to Inven Setup. And from Inventory Setup, we're going to check Automatic Cost Posting is on and Automatic Cost Adjustment is always, which means you won't need to do the next step. But if you haven't got this switched on, you're going to have to do an item adjustment first. And so the item adjustment will turn around uh, adjust costs item entries and what it's going to do is fix and correct uh, effectively the, the 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 item costs posting to the GL okay so again some customers choose to do this manually as part of a month-end process um, that's fine most of our customers by default it's automated and you don't have to do that but to pull up the inventory we're going to go to invent valuation so it's the inventory valuation report. We're going to run that and I'm going to say from um, the filter that I've got on my chart of accounts in the next tab. So let's go have a look here. I've got a filter from and to and currently we can see that amount and I'm going to just paste that from and to in. Okay. And include expected cost. Cool. All right. Now from here, let's just preview and zoom in and as you can see here we can see raw materials and i'm looking at a balance down here of eleven thousand. so if i search for that period raw i should see my raw materials here total just here that's my balance okay and if i i've had no increases no decreases so there's no net change during this period if I go down to the resale goods, you can see here that we've got a closing, uh, an opening and a closing, and what's coming and what's gone out. If I look at the resale, you're going to see that uh, the balance here, 9664, should be here, which is great. And we've also got the gap between what was um, we, our starting and our close is the net change, which was 5,851. Um, further, um, as we look at the cost, we can see here that all of these costs are matching between the inventory and the general ledger. Excellent.